Hello people, uh, Christmas Eve tomorrow. Um, today I went Christmas shopping, it's, it's crazy. Uh, as soon as you go into the supermarket, you can see the look on people's faces. It's like everyone for themselves. Jeez, savage. Anyway, I <clears throat> thought I'd talk a bit about uh, me being vegan. Uh, I've not been vegan that long, funny enough. I've been vegan for about eight months, but before that I'd been vegetarian all my life. So it was pretty easy for me to become uh, vegan. It was like no struggle at all, really. Um, so with me, it started, well, a lot of punks and alternative people are vegetarian or vegan. I don't know why, they just are. I mean, with me being punk, a lot of the bands I grew up with, they had a lot of strong anti-right, anti, yeah, a lot of strong animal rights lyrics. And uh, yeah, I kind of grew up with that. And uh, But the story for me began even before then. Um, it started with me years, a long time ago, if we go back to ancient history, um, when Noah was nearly finishing his ark, I was about three. And uh, I can remember going past the butcher's window uh, with my mum and I saw these uh, sheep carcasses and pig carcasses hung up in the window and I was like fascinated. I said, what's that? And she said, that's sheep and pigs. I said, well, what are they? Because it kind of looked horrific to me because they had the heads uh, chopped off and there's like bloody stumps and I was like, I don't know. And uh, I just, she said, they're sheep and pigs, like what do you eat? And from that day on, I was just horrified that we could eat animals, um, and I found it sort of disgusting and repulsive. So, and you know, they tried hard to get me to eat me, um, tried forcing me, telling me off, but they just give up in the end because I wouldn't eat it. Um, if I, they did force me to put it in my mouth, I'd feel sick or I'd start gagging or be sick. So we just give up in the end, so I've got the same as what everyone else got to eat, except I got no meat, I just got extra vegetables. But uh, I'm 6'2 and quite healthy, so it's, it's not done me any harm so far. Um, but yeah, uh, being vegan, it wasn't uh, that much of a challenge really from being vegetarian. Um, but also, with me going to the gym and doing weights and stuff, then I was quite interested in getting enough protein. So with vegan stuff, what I found easiest, um, cheapest way to get protein was things like uh, lentils, peas, like chickpeas, beans, even like tin of baked beans, like beans on toast has got protein in it. And uh, yeah, basically pulses, lentils, all that sort of stuff, but that stuff, uh, lends into one of my favourite types of food, which is Indian food. I love Indian food so much. Um, Hindu Indian food uh, is vastly vegetarian and most of it is vegan or vegan convertible as well. Um, and I just love the food. I mean, if you think about it, the Hindus have been vegetarian for thousands of years. Um, in this country we've only had Linda McCartney and corn and stuff for the last 20, 30 years maybe. But the Indians, uh, they've had got thousands of years of experience of making vegetarian food and perfecting the flavours and I just love Indian food. Um, so with the protein thing it's great for me. Um, but there is some great books out there and I recommend uh, getting a good Indian cookbook. Like, this one's really good, Prashad. It's a vegetarian but most of it's vegan too. Or easily convertible to vegan. But yeah, get yourself uh, a really good Indian cookbook if you like Indian food that is. Otherwise, you know, you can look at Mexican food that has a lot of beans and stuff. Or there's loads of options. Um, but yeah, for me it was Indian food and uh, yeah, there's loads of books out there or you can even get stuff from the internet or possibly go to a library and get books on Indian food or if they've not got them in, get them to order them in. Um, so yeah, there's a, 
my quick take on uh, uh, my vegan diet. Bye.